Jesuits, which were August 14th, the day the Jesuits were formed in France in history in 1534. Again, those really messed up the Bay Area, which is named after St. Francis of Assisi, just like Pope Francis, the first Jesuit pope. So we'll come back to all that. But right here is where I really want to start because so many people are caught up in this Gary Lamb video. And a lot of people really like it and they resonate with it. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things he talks about in the video that apply to a lot of American lives. You know, being abused, having to struggle to make it, struggling all life and feeling like you have nothing to show for it. He talks about a lot of things that are real with people. But what's unusual is, you know, to go viral out of nowhere on September 22nd and less than a week later, you're part of a presidential advertising campaign, as is the case with Gary Lamb, who now has ads on YouTube from the Trump campaign where he just went viral days earlier. Now, with the Gematria lens, here's what starts to look really suspicious about this, especially knowing how the Jesuits control these big tech companies. Remember, this is Google. Google celebrates their birthday is September 27th, and they say they don't know why, but September 27th is the Jesuit birthday with Rome, and Google's in the Bay Area where there's a heavy Jesuit presence, a lot of Jesuit schools in the Bay Area, and in Seattle, which are the big tech cities, and a lot of Jesuit connections with these big tech types, from Zuckerberg to Sundar Pichai to Bill Gates and beyond. What, what's the guy for a Twitter? Same thing with him. Same type of rituals. But anyway, September 22nd. Two things interesting about this date. We'll start with the fact that it's the day leaving 100 days left in the year. And again, this video that's now part of this advertising campaign was uploaded September 22nd. The day leaving 100 days left in the year. And it was addressed to Tim Pool. The video was called Message to Tim Pool. And Tim Pool equals 100. In your most straightforward cipher. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D, E is 4, up to Z, the 26 letters, 26. And African American in the base ciphers is also 100. And recall what we were talking about last NFL season. How before the season began, it was called by ESPN and the undefeated the year of the black quarterback for the 100th NFL season. And that year in Black History Month, on the first day, Lamar Jackson, a black quarterback, was made league MVP. And on the second day of Black History Month, Patrick Mahomes was made Super Bowl MVP. And tonight, Patrick Mahomes became 3-0 to start the season, beating black quarterbacks in the NFL. Well, he was actually supposed to face a black quarterback week two, but he got injured just for the game, so they put in the white backup. So I guess he was scheduled against three black quarterbacks. He is 3-0, but I guess technically only two of those black quarterbacks played in those games. Deshaun Watson week one and Tyrod, or excuse me, Lamar Jackson tonight. And something I pointed out is that if Mahomes won last week and this week, well, and the first week, he'd be 27 and seven, like 277, the 59th prime. And as we know in Gematria, Negro, Slave, Blues, Rasta, they're all 59. The This NFL season began with a battle of two black quarterbacks. The article that day from ESPN and the undefeated was the era of the black quarterback is underway. It was on a date with 59 numerology. So the way they pay tribute to these numbers. But what this story is about is, you know, being a, a hardworking black man, living a tough life, trying to make it, trying to rise above, and how Donald Trump is helping him achieve that miss. Met, how Donald Trump is helping him achieve that goal, and he's talking to Tim Pool about it, right? So again, the video comes out on the day leaving 100 days left in the year. And not only that, but it came 100 days after Donald Trump's birthday. You know, what a coincidence that it's just so perfect. That it's just so perfect day after day. All these things that relate to politics. And again, why do they do this? First of all, why do they use letters and numbers? Again, it goes back to Kabbalah. And Donald Trump, he's written that one of the best teachers he ever had in his own own life was his own Kabbalah teacher when he was a boy. But in Kabbalah, in the Book of Formation, it stated that God created the world with numbers, letters, and words. And again, the people who want to control us, they want to play God over our lives. They're using this ancient esoteric knowledge to encode the rituals they perform. And maybe there's a real reason to it. Maybe it's how they've gained all the power and influence they have. 
you know. For a lot of people, they treat the media, the government, the things of authority almost as if they are a god, you know. Not everyone, but many. And again, these things all coming together in this way. On this video released on the day leaving 100 days left in the year. But notice also, September 22nd in a leap year is the 266th day of the year. And we've been talking about this number left and right with the Jesuits. Pope Francis is the first Jesuit Pope, the 266th Pope. The Jesuit motto, Isus Hominum Salvatore, equals 266. We just saw how Joe Biden nominated Kamala Harris on his 266th day of his age. On this very specific day to San Francisco when she represents the Bay Area, which is named after St. Francis of Assisi, just like Pope Francis is. How these things come together, these perfect rituals. And with regards to the Jesuits in 266, another big number with the Jesuits is 84. And look at Tim Poole's full name, Timothy Daniel Poole, 84, like the Jesuit Order's 84, like Jesuits 84, like Superior General's 84, like how... Their superior general, Adolfo Nicholas, died earlier this year at age 84 on the day leaving 225 days left in the year, and his name equaled 225. But not only that, adding to the ritual from Tim Poole's birthday to September 22nd when the video was released was 197 days, which is the 45th prime number. And again, Donald Trump, number 45. The video is to Tim Poole about how Donald Trump's helping him achieve in this world and with regards to his name gary lamb notice how it relates to white house this is a presidential campaign this has become part of a presidential campaign white house gary lamb both 137 remember government's 137 washington dc's 137 if you're new here there's four base ciphers the alphabetic order the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology the reverse alphabetic order the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology and all of these numbers are so relevant. Washington, D.C., government, authority, they're all 137. Gary Lamb equals 47. So does White House. So does President. So does Republican. So does Democrat. So does Trump. So does D.C. With regards to 34, black is 34. He's telling the story of being black in America and how difficult it can be. 79, Society of Jesus equals 79. Big Jesuit ritual. 